India's great march into the world of life sciences and biotechnological advances began with the creation of a separate department of biotechnology under the Ministry of Science and Technology in 1986. It was a momentous event in the history of Indian science and technology. India has a very, very ambitious uh, goal of uh, achieving a hundred billion dollar uh, target uh, through biotechnology by the year 2020. And I'm sure uh, Indian biotechnologists are capable of achieving all this. We have uh, been the first one in the world to start a biotechnology postgraduate uh, course. We have been able to in recent times help uh, over 400 industries uh, with a mission for uh, helping people through biotechnology. We are supporting uh, over 150 entrepreneurs. The DBT started its journey humbly as a multi-agency board, namely National Biotechnology Board way back in 1982. Four years of deliberations among eminent scientists and administrators led to the formation of the department. DBT's journey thereafter constitutes its initial consolidation along with the thrust on human resource development. Followed by building of institutional infrastructure, strengthening and deepening life science research all over the country through these institutions. This was followed by upscaling of the country's translational research and boosting of biotech industry and entrepreneurship. Department of Biotechnology have created a reasonably good number of entrepreneurs, good number of uh, job creations and good uh, vaccinations. They have a uh, lot of scope further to grow. And I definitely consider that uh, biotechnology is going to be the big future for our country and which is going to be a big uh, global player. Over the years, DBT has spearheaded cutting-edge research with numerous projects, developed entire generations of talent pool in biotech, instituted regulatory capacity, created 15 world-class institutions, guided policy thinking on biotech, supported around 400 biotech startups and 100 entrepreneurs, forged numerous partnerships with more than several countries. DBT has played a crucial role in leveraging India to one of the top 12 biotech destinations in the world. Today we have a new challenge. 20, 30 years ago, our challenge was to build the foundations and institutional structures. Now our challenge is to make sure that these foundations become even stronger as we have a much larger population of young people. Our, our challenge is to develop these institutional structures to make them extraordinarily effective, not just as standalone institutions, but as institutions interacting closely with other institutions and with the ecosystem. And finally, it's a major challenge for us to take our investment in quality basic science, get knowledge from all over the world and from our science, and to make sure that this knowledge impacts on our society. The journey 30 years ago started with a modest budget under the stewardship of Dr. S. Ramachandran. The first decade saw the consolidation of the department in administration of research, its participation in regulatory processes, formulation of policies and development of human resource. My congratulations and best wishes to all the staff members of the Department of Biotechnology and others associated with the department in the past, former secretaries, uh, who initiated the various programs and provided the guidance. While the National Institute of Immunology, 
DBT's first institute was incorporated in the department, the National Center for Cell Sciences saw its inception in 1986. Thereafter followed first wave of institution building with the Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics at Hyderabad, the Institute of Life Sciences at Bhubaneswar, the National Brain Research Center at Maneshwar, the National Bioresource Development Board, the Institute of Bioresource and Sustainable Development at IMFAB and the RGCB Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology at Thiruvananthapuram. However, support is not limited to the institutions. DBT has instituted fellowships and awards to boost research and development in the field of biotechnology. It also supports research in universities and institutes outside the autonomous ones under it. All these efforts led to the deepening of science. Over the years, it has led to research programs that support basic research, medical biotechnology, infectious diseases, human development and disease biology, chronic disease biology, vaccines and diagnostics, human genetics and genome analysis, stem cell research and regenerative medicine, Biodesign, Bioengineering, Agricultural Biotechnology, Food and Nutrition, Bioresource, Environment and Bioenergy, Animal Biotechnology, Aquaculture and Marine Biotechnology and Bioinformatics. Over the years has led to support for numerous projects publication of many research papers. Increasing number of universities have benefited from DBT support. That biotechnology is one area of science which is closest to the requirement of humankind. Whether it is food, nutritional security, all aspects of health and well-being, livelihood security, energy requirement, and environmental security. Biotechnological interventions have a long way in improving the productivity of food, in, in improving its quality, bringing out better healthcare regime which is low cost, affordable and easily acceptable to the humankind. Having strengthened its basic sciences infrastructure and human resource in the country, DBT ventured into translational research. The first step was to set up institutions oriented in this direction. The next was to create human resource that would populate the field. This decade was also focused on initiation of partnerships with industry through BIPP SIBRI and BIRAC. These renewed efforts reached the benefits of research to society through support for about 300 companies and 100 young entrepreneurs for innovation, research and product development. DBT's impact on translational science has been outstanding, whether it is agriculture, vaccines, diagnostics, um, biological drugs, devices or in generating knowledge that enables product innovation or solution design. The Biotechnology Translational Research and Industry Academia Partnership has promoted through three biotech clusters, eight biotech parks and 13 bioincubators. 17 products, 11 technologies, 16 early stage technologies, 2 process innovations, 23 IP have been generated, 21 centers of excellence have been created. It's a very good thing that India decided early on to establish a department of biotechnology uh, because 
this is a field that has the potential to offer great benefits to both um, health and medicine as well as uh, agriculture and many other areas. Now, if you ask what modern biotechnology means, it's using the power of modern recombinant uh, genetic methods and biochemical methods uh, to purify or make things that are useful, and these can include uh, vaccines, uh, medicines, um, you know, various kinds of useful proteins, etc. DBT during its 30-year-long colorful journey has steered India on the course of spectacular biotech achievements. DBT is implementing an integrated human resource development program comprising of star college scheme, postgraduate teaching program, doctoral and postdoctoral fellowships as well as specialized training programs for UG and PG teachers and mid-career scientists. The department has initiated an integrated human resource development program in biotechnology which is one of the flagship and premier programs to provide manpower for meeting the needs of research institutions and industry. Postgraduate and post teaching, uh, post doctoral teaching programs are conducted at 70 universities in the country and students are selected on all India basis. There is also a program for retraining of these students coming out of postgraduate teaching programs in industries. Almost 150 industries in biotechnology are involved in training of these students. Teaching and training programs aim to support quality education to undergraduate and postgraduate students with emphasis on intensive hands-on training in various areas of biotechnology. Basic research in modern biology. The department continued its support to basic research in order to facilitate understanding of fundamental principles and theories in all areas of life sciences. Bioinformatics DBT has established a major scientists network as BTIS Net which is spread across the nation. Through this, India is having enough strength to address big data analytics and biotechnology science. Bioinformatics has become highly important uh, nowadays as uh, the explosion of uh, biological data, which is enormous now, there is a need to handle uh, the big data through the bioinformatics. Fortunately, DBD has established a vast uh, bioinformatics network across the country, which is poised to take uh, the challenging jobs in this uh, domain. To create an environment of training and research in medical biotechnology, the department provided support to various medical colleges throughout the nation. Our interventions or research starts from the first thousand days of life. When uh, the child is in the mother's womb, we have been asking the questions as why are so women and, chil and child children still anemic in the country? India has the highest number of anemic uh, ch children in the world and this question needs to be addressed. And we have made various interventions through research and come out with uh, various uh, fortification programs to address the incidence of anemia in children and pregnant women. Efforts on medical biotechnology, National Technology Mission on Immunization and National Jaivigyan Mission on SNT for the generation of new and improved vaccines. India is today the leading vaccine manufacturing hub. The country developed the lowest cost rotavirus vaccine in the world and also developed malaria, dengue and several other vaccines. We can proudly say that uh, uh, two out of three people in the whole world, they uh, get a vaccine which is manufactured in India. Rotavirus vaccine being part of 
the national immunization program and a vaccine which is delivered at a cost of $50 in US is uh, we are able to provide it at $1 uh, cost to our people here. Bioengineering is a multidisciplinary field of research which involves application of engineering techniques for basic understandings and development of innovative technologies for improved quality of life. The Department of Biotechnology has taken an endeavor to apply principles and techniques of allied quantitative sciences such as physics, mathematics, chemistry, computer sciences and engineering in the domain of biological sciences to effectively address the biomedical challenges. Genome Project The Human Genome Project did usher the new era of genomics during 21st century in international scenario. This has provided opportunities for a big leap in the area of human genetics and genome analysis. Our department initiated a standalone program on nanobiotechnology during 2007. Overall aim of the program is to advance research in cutting edge areas of nanobiotechnology, foster innovations and to promote translational research to address various issues in different fields of life sciences. Overall objectives of the Agriculture Biotechnology program is to pursue basic research, genome sequencing and functional genomic studies for identification of useful genes, QTLs and validation of their function, developing transgenic crops and crop improvement through market-aided selection for various abiotic and biotic stress. Quality trait are the priority in the crop biotechnology program. We deal with the uh, Agriculture Biotechnology Division. Entire group is concentrating on our crops and also livestock. In case of crops and livestock, our major goal is to produce nutritionally food and meat and food and milk products and also attempt to produce high productivity in terms of yield of crops, in terms of meat of crops, in terms of milk and milk products. We use several technologies like genetic engineering, genomic based breeding technologies and also molecular assisted breeding. In case of animals, our focus is to develop vaccines and diagnostics. Improving varieties by bringing important agronomic trades is continuous process. The department continued to support upstream research in the frontier areas of animal production with emphasis on the characterization of livestock genetic resources. <laughs>